All right, in this tutorial we're going to talk about relational operators and logical operators. So, first of all, what is a relational operator? A relational operator compares two numbers, maybe strings or arrays, and outputs a Boolean result, which could be a true or false. We're going to uh, talk in detail when we come to the logical operators. So, let me define six different relational operators. All right, the first one is less than, which is what we know of from normal math. Second one is greater than, the normal one, sorry for drawing the weird thing. Third one is less than or equal to, notice that um, that bracket is on the left, well, that's not a bracket. Anyway, that thing is on the left side. This is greater than or equal to, this is equal to, and this is not equal to. All right, you, you can understand where these come from. But why do we use two equal sign? If you don't have a programming background, you might really like not understand and you might make mistakes, but there's a good reason for that. We use one equal sign for assignment. So let's say what we have a variable called x and we want, to, we want to assign the value of five to this variable x and write it like this, right? So if you want to compare the values of, let's say, x and y, you cannot write it like this. Because this means assign the value of y to x, which is totally wrong. That's not what we want, and we are not going to do it that way. So stick with this thing. All right? Make, don't make that mistake, because this is a really common mistake, and um, uh, people do it all the time. The last one is not equal to. Um, when I was uh, programming in C, it was this. With an exclamation mark and equal sign. Um, for some reason, we have this tilde and not equal sign. Well, we're going to stick with their uh, syntax. All right, so, okay, that's all about it when it comes to relational expressions. Let me show you a couple examples on a scratch pad and we're going to go back to our MATLAB panel. So let's say x is equal to 5, uh, x is equal to 5, and y is equal to 4. So here are some examples. X, x is less than y. What could be a result? The result will be, well, it is not true. So it's going to be false. False is equal to zero. Let's say x is not equal to y, which is true. Then the result will be one. And the last one is x is equal to y. True? No, of course not. The result is going to be what? zero. What about this? Let's say x is equal to y and x. So what happens here? The result will be 1 because we just made x equal to y by assigning y's value to x and we basically compared y with y. Obviously the result is going to be 1. Okay, that's all about relational expressions. So let me delete everything. Oh, what are you doing? everything on the scratch pad and ask you a weird question what if I write something like this 3 is less than x less than 5 well depends on the x's value right wrong no matter what x is be it 100 which is obviously wrong the answer is going to be 1 wait why why the answer is 1? Well, there's a good reason for that. The way MATLAB looks at this thing is like this. First, it evaluates here, which is equal to 1. Of course, 1, right? And 1 is less than 5. Well, the result is 1. What if x is 0? Well, 3 is not less than 1. So, it's 0. 0 is less than 5. So, the result is going to be 1 again, right? So you see the obvious problem. Unfortunately, we can't get out of it, so um, you have to write it in a different way by using our logical operators. So what are they? Let me come to them in a second. So we, uh, as I mentioned before, we have four different logical operators, and they are AND, uh, OR, what was the other one? not and super one x or x o x okay this is exclusive or 
has a really cool name and we're gonna learn what it does in a second. First of all, what is AND and how do we define it? Well, there are two different kinds. The first one is, I guess, binary, that's, why, that's what they call it, but we're gonna use the short circuit one, which is 2 ampersand. And this is two different sticks and this is tilde, only tilde, and this is XOR and a function. So you insert your expression inside the side of the function. So why do we call this short circuit? Well, there is a good reason for that. Because let's say uh, we have an expression like this, okay, A and Y, right? A and B, let's say A and B. So if A is zero, it doesn't matter what B is. The whole thing is going to be zero, but I forgot to mention how, well, oh, before that, I'm gonna talk about uh, what these things do, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to uh, relational expressions in a second. Let me choose my color. All right, so, um, so yeah. Uh, there is a truth table for that, so actually I think it's much better if you look at that. So I'm going to draw this thing back again, all right? Well, I made a stupid mistake. So let me draw this. They call it short circuit because of this. When you're defining n, it is like this. One, let me draw the truth table. Uh, n zero, zero. If, if there's even only one zero in it, it's going to be zero, right? That's how we define and, and only this case is going to be one, right? So what is really happening here? What is happening here is this. In the short circuit one, MATLAB looks only left side and says, if it's zero, I don't have to look at the other side. So it's going to be zero again. So in OR's case, however, the thing is this, the truth table is like this, one, 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 zero, zero, one, and zero, zero. They're all one except this last one, right? So MATLAB looks at the left side and say, well, if there is one on the left side, it doesn't matter what's on the right side, it's going to be one. So it's called short circuit and we strongly suggest you to use that. And not, not as really simple. Let me clean this up a little bit so that I can explain it in a better way. Oh, uh, it takes a really long time to delete something. Actually, this is not relational anymore. All right, so let me pick the good color. All right, so let's say this is our function. X is equal to five, Y is equal to four, and this is my expression. X is less than Y. So you know what this is equal to, right? Well, I, I don't. Four, five. Okay, this is equal to zero. So when you put a tilde in front of it, it's going to make it, it's going to invert the result. It's going to be one. And if it was one, it's going to be zero. All right. Let me clean that up. Lastly, XOR. I'm going to XOR, explain XOR in a minute. So XOR is a function. You don't put it in, in between like something like, if it was this, it would be, this is an OR expression, this is an AND expression, but XOR is different. You write it like this, XOR, this is your first expression, this is your second, it compares the result, all right? So uh, let me draw the truth table for this guy. Oops. So truth, oh, what am I doing? Okay, think. So the table is like this, one, if it's, what's going on? So if it's, if it's, ah, uh, shit, if it's one, ah, what are you doing? Seriously, this is one, 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 zero, zero, one, and it's not a real one. Zero, zero. So the result is going to be zero. This is going to be zero, and these are going to be one and one. So what is that? Well, if they are the same thing, the result is going to be zero. If they are different, the logical result is going to be one. 
Um, I think that's all about um, relational and logical operations. And there are also some couple things that I want to talk about. If you get the result like this, let's say 3 is less than 5, you're going to get answer is equal to 1. If you say, hey, what is the class of that? And put inside of the, let me clean this up. What is this thing's class? It's going to be logical. All right. So there is one thing left that I want to talk about. There's something called precedence and and comes before or. So make sure that you're really good at that. And I think that's all about it. All right. Thanks for watching. See you on the other tutorial. Oh my God, it's 11 minutes.